Hello there, a new day, a new project. Uh, here I have my uh, the trusty Soundcraft mixer, AFX 12 Soundcraft, very good audio quality. But of course, because of, you know, running here and there, a little bit of, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe moisture, maybe humidity, maybe mechanical, something's happened. So I have two potentiometers, number six and number 10, they are working intermittently. And uh, I want to change also this uh, out potentiometers, the volume potentiometers. Just got the parts from China, replacement parts and uh, let's start to dismantle the thing first of all we have to take all the plastic buttons all the plastic caps out and then each of these should be taken out under here there is a very thin plastic washer be really careful about that because we need it later and uh, i know this is the boring part that's why i'm gonna have a time lapse on it Okay, so here we are, ready to change these faders. I got the new parts from China and I got 10 pieces of these bright new faders. But uh, before anything else, we're gonna test again which of them are in trouble because I don't want to work too much uh, and change everything. So like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Rise up the cane to maximum. Okay, so number two. It looks fine. Four is clean. Five. Okay. Six. Number six. Gain. Oh, number six. Of course. Yeah, really bad. Seven is fine. Eight is perfect. Nine, perfect. Ten, it's the one with problems before. I knew about this. Seven, perfect. Twelve. You can also see the the other stereo. Okay, this one. And perfect. Nice. Okay. This one doesn't go up, so we should try the other side. So we have to take this screws. Now the mixing board is absolutely free. We have access to all the components. Now I have to disconnect the DSP, the effect board. And by the way, that's lexicon of very good sound quality. And I'm gonna start working the first uh, fader and that will be number 10. That was the most affected one, not working at all in fact. So the worst part over here is to take the faders off. Okay, I did that successfully on number 10. Now I'm cleaning the hole. And I found a really nice uh, way to do that with a piece of wood. So just heating up the soldering uh, paste and then insert that piece of wood. Then the, that makes the hole clear for introducing the new fader before anything else i should give a try so this was number 10 it was worked before let's put on the mixer and do the test yes there you go beautiful that's one of the tricks, you know, you have to put a little bit of soldier before and then try to suck it with the pump. Look there. It's almost clean. This is done. Okay. So here I am two hours later. Most of the faders got replaced. This is new. All the black ones are new. I was so surprised about the quality of this uh, replacement parts. You know, it feels much, much better and uh, they are so great with this anti-dust uh, 
cover. Let's see if it's working or not. <laughs> That's the point. Okay, power on. Yes, we got power. Volumes up. Number one. Maximum gain. Number two. So num number one, we have a problem. Okay, we'll fix that. Ah, it's mute. Okay, I got it. Maximum gain. It's working perfect. Two. Perfect. Three. That's new. Absolutely right. Love it. Right. This is original over here. Good. Perfect. That's new. On channel 10, this one was crypt here. Okay. Good. And good. One stereo, second stereo. Everything gets fine. Everything is perfect. As new. I love it. All I have to do now is to solder the ground. You see all the spins here. And then to clean everything. Well, now I, uh, I have to try to see. Maybe I can improvise some of these anti-dust things with double tape and some close like this okay now I have a piece of maybe I should have it a little bit straight straighter oh there we are sorry so this is double tape here you will need a really good scissors to do this and have this in the middle and we just put it here. The other half, the other side of course. It doesn't matter if it's going on top of the other. I better take this one. Badly. I don't care, it's doing the job. Look, it keeps the dust away. That's the most important thing. And at the end, if you really want to cut these things, but that doesn't bother me at all. So, that's the idea. Let me finish the others. Okay, so it's uh, done. To say it took me, took me half an hour or something, but it's finally done. So all the faders are now covered. And I know it's looking ugly, but it's inside anyway, so nobody will see it. And it's working wonderful, you see? Of course, that's the original. Like I said before, I didn't know these are them so good. I think the job is done for now. You see, maybe you are asking yourself why I choose to replace these ones. Because they've been good till number six. This one was bad, absolutely. But from my experience, I know that the first two channel will be always in use. You know, if you have a microphone or something, you just plug it into the first one. And of course, very used are the last one, the stereo one. So I just want to know for sure that at least one, two, three, four, five, I got these seven new. These are very good and this is good too. Usually the first ones are uh, always used. And of course, more, this is very important to the general volume. Okay, so now I'm going to put everything back in the case and I'll take another try when everything gets back in place. Perfect.
できるよ。Let's have some. Everything is fine, so take it out, my dear. I still have to put the screws, but I did the final test. Everything is fine. The new faders are always perfect. They are perfect, and uh, I want to show you the. If you can see this about the dust protection. Okay, it's hard to see it anyway, but it's really nice. I could see inside the fader before, not anymore. I love this. Okay, I hope this is useful, and I'll be back soon with some other projects. Don't forget to have fun and、uh, be safe. Bye bye.